Thank you for the purchase of your new Matchpoint blade saw. There are a few steps that you can take before the MyTech installation crew arrives that will speed up the installation of your new saw, and they are outlined in this video. The standard blade saw consists of four major pieces, the blade saw cutting chamber, auto deck, infeed rail, and skewed outfeed conveyor. MyTech prepares all the items so that they can safely be loaded onto a truck for shipping. The truck is loaded to make the best use of the trailer surface, and some items may be sitting over the top of others. MyTech uses an overhead crane to load most items, but the truck can be unloaded with a forklift. The forklift operator should use caution when lifting the pieces, being aware that the items are placed close together and must be lifted in a safe manner to clear items that are under them. The forks may only go under the item a couple of feet, some pieces have fork tubes for lifting. Others should just be lifted at the weight center of the machine. Using a second person as a spotter to help guide the forklift operator is highly recommended. As each piece is lifted off the trailer, install the supplied leveling feet before the item is placed in the saw area. The feet are in a cardboard box that is shipped on a pallet, usually by the outfeed conveyor. Setting the leveling feet with a top nut and lock washer at the top of the threaded screw is a good starting point. After the feet are installed, the saw chamber should be set in its final installation location. Once the saw chamber is placed, you can set the in-feed rail to the left of the saw and the skewed outfeed conveyor to the right of the saw chamber, leaving 12 to 18 inches between each item. The installation team will need this space to make the connections between the pieces. The auto deck should be placed in front of the infeed rail. Once the pieces are set, you can rough in the utilities. We recommend a small section of flexible conduit at the connection to the saw chamber to allow some adjustments to the location if necessary. By taking these steps ahead of the technician's arrival, you can take hours off the installation time. You should plan on having two people that can help the MyTech technicians during the installation process. They won't be needed at all times, but an occasional extra hand to align the pieces will help speed up the installation. A forklift should also be available. It won't be needed all day, but it should be available. The MyTech technician will ensure the blade saw cutting chamber is square in the designated area, and then will start the anchoring and leveling process. Once that is complete, the technician and assistants can move the infeed rail into position and then continue to the other items until each one of them are level and square to each other. On the second day, the power and air lines will need to be finalized. After this, the MyTech technician will start the calibration and commissioning of the system, which will be completed by the second or third day. Once the saw has been optimized, the MyTech technician will start training the designated operators on the use of the saw. After the initial training has been completed, the saw will be available for production jobs that the trained operators will run with the assistance of the installation technician. Remember, MyTech technical support is only a phone call away, and we can connect to your saw remotely to troubleshoot any problems you may have. Thank you again for your purchase of the Matchpoint Blade Saw.